Hi friends. So I was just doing my yoga routine and I had a kind of like insight bubble up, which then carried through into uh, my sitting practice and kind of right up to now. And essentially, and again, this is a case of like, you know, kind of stating the obvious and finally understanding what I mean by that. But I, you know, when I, when I get up in the morning, I go and start my yoga practice. And, and I've gotten very used to the fact now that as I begin, there's like this stickiness in my body. It's like I'm moving through glue or mud or like the air is super thick. It's just, I mean, can anybody relate? It's just hard to, to, to move. And, and of course, yoga being a practice of, you know, expansion, contraction, reaching, stretching, opening, closing, breathing. Um, it's a great, it, it's, it's a, it's a gentle practice, but it's, but it takes me right to the heart of that feeling more so than going for a run or doing something that's more sort of externally active, but not so sensitive to those, that kind of stickiness in the body. So it's a great practice for me. And what was showing up today was this recognition, you know, uh, Sadhguru talks about karma as memory. And I just had this flash this morning of my yoga practice being a being a matter, being a, a practice to like release memory. And 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 it and it was pretty kind of a kind of a profound moment of oh. So this isn't, it's, it's not as simple as it seems. Getting up in the morning and feeling stiff or feeling lethargic is not just part of life. It's because we're picking up memory in a certain way. And, and, and this practice is, you know, it's almost like I, I feel like I could do, I could do, so much more of it and it would it, I'm sure it would be incredibly beneficial but <clears throat> I have gotten to where I have to do this every day or I kind of feel like I'm like I'm off track I, th th this practice puts my body in a place where that where I can where the, the rest it sets me up for the rest of the day I don't know how I would get through my day consistently if I wasn't doing this <clears throat> and recognizing that it's that it's almost like I'm dealing with yesterday every day and I think that's where a deepening yoga practice you start to unravel more and more you start to really dig in um, that's my experience with Qigong as well by the way there's a kind of opening into areas of the body and it feels physical but it's it's, it's, there's something else going on. So then I sat down in meditation and I, and I noticed the thoughts that were coming up. And, you know, in meditation, think, thinking is kind of like the lethargy of the mind. <laughs> it's a weird way to put it since it's what the mind does, but Thinking in meditation is kind of like feeling stiff and lethargic in my body. See, it's the it's the analog of that in the, on the meditation side of the coin. So, but I just started observing what was coming up, and I was like, "Oh, it's unresolved things." <laughs> Again, duh, like 
really? You needed to realize that? But it was just an incredible, it was like waves, like one, two, three, four, like a, a, a whole series of recognizing, oh, I'm thinking about this because it's not resolved. There's something in this relationship that's not resolved. Or in this interaction with this person, this situation, this thing in my life. These waves of, oh, it's about things that are unresolved. So it's in, in, a, in a similar way. Now, I can't just, I can't necessarily resolve all those things in meditation. Um, you know, the nice thing about physical lethargy, physical karma, is that you can physically work through it. The physical experience of doing yoga moves me through some of that gunk. Meditation also moves me through it. It brings me to the place where, oh, I see what action I have to take. And then I can decide, will I take this action or am I going to look away and kind of blind myself to it again? Um, but it was really powerful to just to just clock consciously what's in my mind is there because it's unresolved. I'm fixating on the things that are causing me discomfort. You know, we, we, we often think in meditation, oh, my mind is just undisciplined. It's just my mind. I don't, you know, my mind just has a lot of thoughts in it. It's just the way my mind is. <laughs> but it's not that <laughs> the mind is the mind is a supercomputer. The mind knows exactly what it's doing. Everything that's there is there for a very good reason. Um, the reason might be, you know, like the tenth layer of avoidance and defense against seeing something more, you know, more difficult to access or more more true. But everything that's in there has got a good reason for being there. Um, and if we can trust that and, and kind of identify little uh, ways in, like the one I've just identified, oh, this is unresolved. Now I, now, I can, now I can ask that question, what's unresolved here? You know, as I go, as, I, as things show up for me, either in meditation or in, in, in other times of the day when some of that daydreaming, some of that mental activity happens, the question can be, what is unresolved here? I'm thinking this for a reason, and the reason has got to have something to do with, you know, if, if, especially if it's recurring, you know, a, a random passing thought or a wisp of inspiration is kind of a different category, but things that keep coming up. Um, what's unresolved here? And how to... And what do I need to do to resolve it? And then hilariously, I stood up from meditation, looked at my phone, or I was turning off my timer, and boom, a little notification showed up from Sadhguru saying, the body should feel like a breeze. Only then are you truly healthy. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, okay, you know, thanks for the, thanks for the confirmation. So anyway, it's an interesting kind of build of body awareness into mental awareness and sort of the connection there. So it's good morning. That's what I got, folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Much love. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.